So after all that thing I saw today, they have well, many things, obviously. I chose one thing and that's meat. But look at this. <laughs> Straight up came, man. Everything ready so I can start going. Yeah. What's up, bro? Breaking news from Tianjin. <laughs> true, true speech, true speech. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? BRNO here. Today's a little bit different. I'm not in Tianjin. I'm in Beijing, rural area, um, Huairo district, without my videographer Hector. Hmm, I'm wondering what he's doing. Anyway, it's time to check in. Let's go. There's a classic car museum right here. Well, let's check it out. Well, looking at that door, I feel like there is something more <laughs> than just classic cars, but... <laughs> I better get out of here with this camera before someone before someone comes in and asks me what am I doing here. As you guys can see, this area is very quiet. I feel like there is nothing here. Um, still counts as Beijing, and uh, yeah, definitely not as noisy as Beijing a downtown area. Uh, so the reason why I'm here in this Huairo district, uh, part of Beijing, 50 to 70 kilometers far away from downtown, you know, uh, is because I'm shooting a movie here. Uh, and, and today I have a rest day. So I was just like, you know what, let's explore the area outskirts of Beijing. And uh, yeah, this area is famous for movie studios. A lot of movie production comes here to shoot their movies, like the one I'm working on now. So yeah. Oh. yeah. So uh, shit, I just witnessed a small car crash of uh, well, more like a bike crash. Um, then lady, old lady was holding her head. I don't think she was wearing a helmet. Mm, that reminds me of someone. You can just go by 50 kilometers. You bump your head, your head explodes like a fucking watermelon. Boom. True, true speech, true speech. And you're dead. Well, anyway, I hope she's okay. But uh, yeah, I'm fortunate. Well, one thing I gotta say about this area, I mean, in, in general, in most of the developed parts of China, it's super clean like the streets are just clean infrastructure the roads are nice i don't believe we have such a nice roads in slovakia as they have here in rural area of beijing obviously there are even worse area than this obviously if you go further and further outside of big cities then you might find some you know not nice looking places well as you guys can see as the stone says behind me what does it say quiro film and television industry park so hey i was lying it is the film industry over here. I'm in a good place. We are in a good place. Also, oh, that thing behind me, and the sign says China Film Talent Training Base. Why they didn't call me? Oh, I know why. I passed my training already. And you I do my own. Make sure. So I go. But yeah, as you get, oh shit, my head. You know, so it's <laughs> public toilets behind me, but I have a good public toilet at least here. Um, yeah, but as you, guys, as you guys can see, you know, it's 1 p.m. and uh, after lunch, old folks just go outside to the park. It's not as crowded as I thought it would be, but still, you know, pretty decent amount of people having fun, dancing, working out, playing Chinese chess, and just listening to. Chinese traditional music. How cool is that? And he also playing sports. I thought there could be some uh, basketball players over here. Then maybe I can play basketball with them. Um, but it, they're not here yet. It's 1 p.m. Fuck, what, what a stupid time I've chosen to come here. But at least there are guys playing ping pong. They're cool. You know, cigarettes in their mouth, just <laughs> smashing that ball. So yeah, I'm entering a small town. Um, well, I don't know if I can call it town. It seems like a one crossroad, but it, you know, it reminds me of old West, like Western movies when there's just like one road and it has everything you need. It has a barber shop, it has a restaurant, uh, you know, uh, Undertaker, <laughs> and that's all you got, you know, some clothes. Um, that's it, that's all you need. Yeah, so exactly as I said before, there is a barber shop right there so you can get your hair cut well that doesn't include me i guess uh, there's so many things over here you can buy your phone you can fix your phone you can get your food anytime you want for example here they have right there have cakes that's not what we're interested in right now oh shit this one is oh the juan and jimmy fan that's the thing we ate last time if you remember if not then check out the last vlog oh bro this is amazing you can buy happiness 
I know. I've been told you cannot buy happiness. But you can buy it over here. Hey dog. What's up dog? So yeah, you can buy fruits right here. You can buy your phone right next to it. You got your uh, police community, police officer, sheriff. <laughs> so yeah, man, this place is everything from bank, from police, from a quiet which is delivery, chicken place, burger place, shwego, which means fruits, everything you need. Damn. But I don't know what I need. What do I need? Some meat. I need a meat. So I want to go check out this place. Uh, it's like a Lanjo, Laoma, something man. Damn, Shao Kao, everything they got. Damn, let's go. So after all that thing I saw today, they have many things, obviously. I chose one thing and that's meat. But look at this, <laughs> straight up caveman. Straight up caveman, just meat on a stick. Damn. <sighs> Man, <laughs> I love it. Let's go. It's crazy, bro. You can actually kill someone with it. It's a... <laughs> That's amazing. This is the road. It's already on the road. It's on <laughs> but you know what I like? They were stretching before they started. They're even better than me. I guess they learn over the years. But yeah, this is exactly what I was saying, you know, like I felt like first time when I get to the hotel. I was like, where in the hell are we shooting this movie? I mean, there's nothing. There is barely something I can buy, you know? And then you just walk like 30 minutes. I'm in 20 with my speed of walk. Um, and then you just found, you know, a park. That's all you got. It's just, you know, at 1 p.m. there was no one. At 2 p.m. it's getting pretty, pretty wild over there. A lot of dancing, singing, playing Chinese chess, whatever. So it's just... It's nice to see, you know, and I'm so happy I found a crossroad where, you know, you got everything you need. From a barber shop is like the most important thing for me. Look at that. So, <laughs> damn. Anyway, but yeah, that's what I wanted to explore. I wanted to explore this area and I wanted to bring you along. It wasn't that professional. You know, I miss my Hector, my Hector, <laughs> my videographer Hector and my one of my best friends in Tianjin. So I'm still wondering what is he doing? Hmm. Anyway, yeah, he will probably edit this video for me. I love him for that. And let's see what he can take with this. And yeah, definitely next video hopefully will be better than this one. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to bring you along to explore this area where I'm shooting a movie. Our studio is maybe like, what, one kilometer that way. That's where the magic is happening right now. Well, they didn't need me for today. So I was like, you know what, let, let this, let's explore this area. And yeah, I found a little bit of Wild Wild West kind of a street in this go in this case it's East, Wild Wild East. It's just a one crossroad of, you know, nice things from literally from A to Z. And uh, yeah, I found this film talent base, training base camp. Still understand, I don't understand why they didn't call me over there. Uh, there's a big ass hotel right here. And as you can see, we also found a park full of old folks having fun. Probably more than fun than me, but uh, yeah, tried playing ping pong with that guy. I almost got him. I think I got him a couple games, but he's good. He's there every day, so, you know, respect. Anyway, guys, I'm still wondering what Hector is doing. Yeah, but uh, I'll see you guys next time. It's time to check out. Peace out. Adios.